Hello my kitchen family, welcome, welcome. We are here in our cabin where we are staying and this is in North Georgia and this is hidden cabin by the water and we caught some amazing rainbow trout yesterday. So what I'm doing today, I'm getting the fire going um, I want to roast some. I want to uh, smoke some so that I can uh, make some roast choker, some roast fish choker. So this is the little uh, smoker that I have that I will um, get get going. So I have some fire going on here, and this is the fish. Check it out. I'll be roasting this one. Uh, this is a nice big one, but it's not the biggest one we have. But look how good and clean inside of these fishes look nice and white and again this is caught right here in the mountains and it's a rainbow trout rainbow trout and uh, so i have three that i'm taking care of here um i'll be skewering them and uh, season them a little bit for baking and also currying as well on the creek we'll be currying on the creek later and skewer these and seasoned. Let's skewer these and uh, season. Oops. Put it on the board so I can have better pressure to skewering. So I'm gonna just skewer them like this. So that seasoning and all that and the smokiness can get into it. And at this one here, uh, and I'll do, look, look at that. Nice cure, right? See the white, nice meat? And I'll do the same thing on the other side. You can put a glove on, but let me tell you, this fish is so fresh and smells so nice, I wanna get my finger in it. Look at that, look, look, look. <laughs> Ooh, I love it, I love it. I've never smoked. These guys are I've never grill it. I don't think I think I've cooked it once and I can't even remember how I may prepare it. So I have this one skewered already uh, for the smoker and I'll put some seasoning. And what I'm gonna do with this one as well, I will be skewering this one as well for baking. Right there on the fire. Oh, it's such a nice day. Let me tell you, it's like 75 degrees. So it's perfect. It's perfect to be outside here. The sunshine is right on me. So I can't feel much cold. And that's why I can wear a little bit of summer kind of clothes up here, which is summer here. It's pretty warm here as well. It will get like into the 80s, but this morning it was in the 60s, which is nice for a change. Okay, so I have these two skewered. and what I'm gonna do with this one here guys I'm gonna cut it because I'm frying these I will be frying this for cur for a nice uh, masala masala curry we have to try these fish different ways and we have three we have a few more in the freezer uh, for different dishes and different styles Look how nice and white these are. I'm gonna season them. Let's let's season the fish. You can use very basic basic seasoning like salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic. But what I'm gonna do, I'm pretty much using salt, pepper, and garlic, but also with some uh, green seasoning. So I'm gonna put some of the green seasoning there and I use my fingers to massage it into the belly and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to show you, look how nice and white that belly is. And what else I'll be putting? I'm bringing, I'm bringing our Caribbean flavors here into the mountains of Georgia. So I have so, some fine leaf thyme. I'll putting in some fine leaf thyme in here as well. And for this fish here, I'm gonna be frying this to curry or to masala. Oh yes, to curry. 
So I'm be putting a little bit of seasoning in there as well. And uh, also some garlic, some garlic over here. I have some black pepper. And just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt to taste. Very basic seasoning. So I'm gonna do look, I'm gonna massage all these in here and put them in, put it in the cuts, all in the slats here. Just turn it over, just use your fingers. You can, like I said, you can put a glove on. I feel the best tool in the kitchen or in the backyard or by the water or by the stream is your fingers. And put some in that head as well. So like I said, it's just basic seasoning is on here. Because when I smoke, when I smoke this fish, and then I'll add like different other seasoning, garlic, onions, ginger, uh, tomatoes to make a nice choker. All right, and the same thing, I'll mix this up so it start to marinate and that seasoning start to get in there. <sighs> this is so much fun. I, I love to, I love to cook. I enjoy cooking. And especially when things that you, when you go get your own things, like grow it, catch it, uh, raise it, you know, it makes it feel special. So this guy is finished here. And in this green seasoning, we call green seasoning, it has thyme, celery, ginger, and uh, pepper, hot pepper, and also uh, some shadow benny in there. So I'm bringing the, like I said, I'm bringing the Caribbean here in Georgia mountains. So I have some butter that I'm melting here. This is what I'm going to be baking. I'll be doing a little bit of baking of one of these fish. So I have some butter that I'm melting. So what I will be doing right now is... Okay, so I'm taking one of the fish and I'm putting it in here and then I'll put all my vegetables and whatever I want I'll have to put this on sideways since it's so big for this and that's some butter I have there so I'm gonna just flip it on the other side and the butter gonna be also on both sides okay all right Oh, guys, so I take some of my coals from that pile over there and I put it in here. This is my little smoker and this is a cabbage leaf. We went to the, we went to the farm yesterday and this is my cabbage leaf. So I'm putting my cabbage leaf on there and this I'm smoking a fish right now. I'm smoking this fish to make some fish choker. So let's put our fish in there now. And all I need, I'm gonna leave it open like this. I mean, and we'll put it down and let the, the heat and the smoke from there will also come in here. And this is, and then we'll close it up. And this is how John also smoked his fish. This is how John also smoked his fish to make fish dip. These are homegrown that we went and actually picked at the farm here. And some yellow squash and some zucchini. We'll be frying some zucchini. So for this baked fish, I'll be putting some of this vegetable in there as well. So check these out, guys. They're so fresh. Soft. Look at that. Uh, I'll just cook them up small because fish, you don't want to overcook. And when you cook it on the grill and you steam it, it finished very fast. So I'm putting some of these vegetables in there. And uh, this is also the squash. Oh my gosh, look how young that is. The seeds are so um, small. 
and this is all organic no pesticide i was so happy to meet this these people and what i have here also is some mushrooms check out these guys i'll be putting in some mushrooms in there these are the vegetables that i have that i'm working with such a beautiful day here to be in the mountains cooking so you see what i have here um is this fish here is smoking see it's smoking to make some smoked fish and i'm getting ready to put this here um also in the bigger side what i have here also is an apple local apple from the farm and uh, i'll be putting some apple pieces in there as well it's gonna give it a nice sweet sweet fruity flavor so you cut them on smaller so it, it just melts in there and the juice gets into everything oh, man I'm enjoying the mountains if you listen carefully you can hear the water on the stream over there So now I'm gonna just sprinkle my vegetables all around in here. Just put it all around the fish. So it bakes all together with the juice from the fish and into that butter. And now we're gonna cut up some nice pepper to put in there. And this pepper also is from the farm here. They're not very spicy, just flavorful. And look, let's, let's put them there. And uh, we do not have any oranges or any limes. Oops. Okay, okay. I do not have any orange or any lemon or lime for this fish. But if you have lemon or lime, go ahead and put that. But since this fish is so fresh, we caught it yesterday ourselves. You, it's not rank, it's not fishy. So I'm gonna put some, uh, this is some delicious orange. I'm also gonna put some orange wedges in there. It will give it a citrusy plus sweetness from the orange. Fish. And then I'll squeeze, okay. Then I'll also squeeze some of the juices on it. Ah, it's gonna be so yummy. So put some onions. And uh, right now I'm putting some salt to taste. And what I have here is some of John's oil that he actually um, seasoned. It's called red oil. So it's all the garden freshness from the garden and some paprika that he make this oil in here. So I'm going to just spray some in here for flavors and and these this is a good oil for you as well very nice mm. so we bought this here in ellen georgia and it's it says slap your mama and it's it's a fun name it's a fun name guys but what it has is Cajun seasoning, it's Cajun spices. And this is how we are doing this fish, Cajun style with Caribbean twist. So what I'm gonna do now is put some of this Cajun spices on this fish. I already put some in the seasoning as well when I did this. So I'm just putting some for the, give it a little bang of a flavor and uh, all right and that's it now we're gonna put it and that's it guys oh let's put i want to put a little bit of tomato in here and that will give it that extra citrus umami -ness taste as well so just just a couple
ah this is so much fun and you can do chicken you can do shrimp you can also do any type of fish this way so simple and I uh, and great for the summer this is a nice summer grilling look at that so check this out um, I can't cook with this with a pan but I suggest if you have an aluminum pan, use that. But I don't have one right now, and this is uh, from our guest house, and I don't want to put smoke on it. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this in here, and this this pile wrap here is gonna work as a dish for me, as a big pan. But look at that. And then I'll close it down in a minute. And that's it. You put that in there, and let everything cook. I'm gonna leave this open just like this and I'll put my grill down. So everything gonna cook there. When the fish is finished, everything is finished. And I have, and for my choker, for my choker friends, this guy is in here smoking. All right, I, so John, he's been fishing out there on the creek and doing some stuff, and I wanna show him what I'm doing. So I'm roasting this one for, this is one of the ones you caught. Actually, you caught both of these. Ooh. And look, so I'm roasting this one to make a fish choker we call fish choker. Nice, nice. That's gonna look delicious. All the oils are oozing out, getting to the surface of the trout, just like on salmon, when you cook salmon. Exactly, they're so good for you, omega-3. Trout is the same thing like salmon. With the omega three in the air, uh, yeah. but you see the you see the um. It turns into like a paper. I did. I know when I grilled mine. Oh yeah, John is making. He's also he smoked his for two, over three hours yesterday because he's making some fish dip. He's making some fish dips. Okay, you're ready to see this, Johnny? Yep. Sure. Okay, here we go. This way. Ready? All right. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Man, I want to make a tom yum sauce with this. Oh gosh, look at how nice it looks. That looks so nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the juice is coming out of the fish and flavoring the vegetables. That looks so nice. I know, right? And I put it orange because to give it a little sweetness yeah. since we don't have any lemon or limes. And guess what I put? Apples. Oh. Yeah, I chop up some apples to give it the oh, yeah, sweetness. No, yes, yes. yes. So look, like I know what I put a cabbage. I put all the freshness that we picked at the garden yesterday. Cool, cool. And I'm storing it up. But look how good this is looking. Oh my, oh my. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mama, you're doing real good. I all know. The food I is so good. I have to have his approval. This is his his way of creating. I might even try some. Mm-hmm. He's not a fish eater. <laughs> I, I cook the fish, I'll cook and then catch the fish, but I don't eat the fish. So you taught your mama Except well? Except for sushi. You taught her well? Yes. Nice, nice, the guys. Look how good this is looking. And I'm just cooking from a foil. Just a piece of foil I put in there. So if you want to in, if you want to close it up, you can close it up as well. But it's okay. If you don't want that much juice, you close it up. But I like it how it is right now. And you see, as soon as you see how the fish is turning white, that means it's, the fish is pretty much finished. And that's our delicious um, Cajun style baked fish with a uh, Caribbean fusion. I can't wait to finish the fish choker and show you. But look how nice that's looking. It's smoking there nicely. Ah, look how, yeah, I don't know if you can see the brown side here. Ooh, nice. The fish is already steamed and finished. Remember, you don't want to overcook this. You don't want to overcook the vegetables, but yet it still have the nice caramelized flavor. Look at it. Look at the bottom. And as it sits, you see how, you see how nice that is? Ooh, look at that, look at that. So these vegetables, man, they'll be so good on this fish. Right? Look at that. I'm so excited. It's gonna be yum, delicious. So everything is finished. What I'm gonna do now, I'll take this off from the heat. 
Let me get a. All right, we'll take this off on the heat and rest it on the pan. And there we go. We we'll let it sit while all the juices and so get into the vegetable, get into the fish, and then we'll start to eat some of this delicious fish. But look how good this is looking. Hmm. Check on our, our smoked rainbow trout, fresh caught, that we are making into a choker. Look how nice that's looking. So this is pretty much fishing. Look, you see how nice that is? Ooh, nice and flaky meat. Uh, I'll leave it in here. Look, if I can turn this around. Show me too. Look, I'm turning it around. This is finished. Ah. And this is a cabbage leaf. So look at this guy. I'll take it off and when it's cool off, I'll take out all the meat and then I'll work my magic again. I so nice and crispy and, and um, nice brown caramelized uh, look on that fish. So that fish, it's finished. I'm going to take it out and put it in a pan and let it sit until it's cool. So guys, we'll take this out and put it in our pan. Here, come closer, closer, you don't want it to break up. I don't think I get a good hook. Okay, let's start over. All right, let's do this. Look at that. I let it cool. <laughs> Look how good that looks. It smells so good. I see all that fresh oil that's in there from the fish. Great for omega threes and um, and for our brain. This is brain food. But look how white and nice that fl fish is. White and flaky. Wow, it's gonna be so yummy as a choker. And John is making one as a dip. I love this grill. I love this grill.